Hi, I welcome you all to my platform for Sensor Academy, either the YouTube channel or the Facebook page. If it is your first time on this particular YouTube channel, kindly hit on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell in order to get notified when next I post a new video. For those watching this on my Facebook page, kindly leave a comment, share the video, tag others that may find this same very video very much beneficial, especially the internals preparing for November's exam and the GCE anticipating for 2024 exam preparation. In today's tutorial, we're going to focus that is on a question in biology paper two theory. We've only focused on question one in this particular video and this is a paper from the just ended 2023 exam written on 10th august 2023 we're going to talk about specialization of cells as much as we are expected to prepare adequately for it suppose we are to emerge victoriously in an exam let's begin so here the question says the instructions are that answer all the questions in the spaces provided in the question paper and this so much means in section a there are five compulsory questions which should be answered and you are to utilize the available spaces that at least fall beneath the questions question one says figure one shows different types of specialized cell a specialized cell is a cell with a certain specific function found in a certain organ in the body so in these diagrams we can simply c that is specialized cell label a specialized cell label b and specialized cell label c if we can see this one is a neuron this one is showing an elongation whereas we can understand that it is this elongation it this one is a plant cell but with this elongation we can see that it is the one that can penetrate the ground or the soil in search of underground water and mineral salts these ones have got the presence of hairs and these hairs can help to sweep mucus or dust particles. So the question on the first one says, identify the cells A, B and C. The kind of a neuron that is di being displayed here is called a motor neuron. So here we're going to say motor neuron and at the same time the this one on b is a plant cell which is in a root having seen its elongation so this one is going to be called a root hair cell so this one is called a root hair cell then for c we're going to find that this is one two three which means these are a group of cells suppose there was a question saying state the term used to refer to a group of cells shown in c would have said a tissue but now we are told to name these so we're going to say these are cilia cells so we're going to say ciliated cells then we move on to roman numeral two uh states the part of the living organism in which the specialized cells b and c are normally found having to see what we gave b as a name we said root hair cell hence this is found in the roots so you can say in the root or roots. Then for C, ciliated cells are either found that is in the oviduct or the fallopian tube. And at the same time, they can also be in the trachea. So we're going to say the trachea. Then for B, B is saying explain the function of each of the cells in figure one. When you talk about a motor neuron, we're going to find that it conducts. We can say it conducts or transmits electric impulse. Electric impulses from, from the central nervous system to the defector. It translates impulses from the central nervous system to the effector then for that is b this is the root hair cell the root hair cell plays a very important role in a plant and especially in the roots 
because with the presence of the root hair cell, a plant is provided with underground water and mineral source for survival and other plant processes that occur for its survival. Hence, for the root hair cell, we're going to say it absorbs. So it plays a role of absorption. So we say it absorbs, it absorbs water and mineral water and mineral salts from the ground or biologically from the soil then lastly for c we're trying to talk about the ciliated cells the ciliated cells since we gave the name of being found in the trachea we're going to say the ciliated cells were given in form of a plural answer this means they are more than one so we say the cilia present we're going to say the cilia present helps to sweep mucus from the trachea. So we can say the cilia present helps to sweep mucus from the trachea. So this is what we need to know, especially for their functions and having done that it means we've answered 2023 gce biology exam question one and i hope you find this video very much beneficial for those watching in order to prepare adequately for an exam grab the paper try to relate to some other exam visible questions that have had come on the same concept under specialization of cells and for those anticipating for next year's exam you can use the same very video at least to highlight and bring to limelight of certain concepts that may help you to grasp the concept i hope this video contributes to your academic growth and we've also started online tuitions for those that would want to reach out we are based in indola you can refer to the number on the description of this same video and we offer online tuitions for gce that is in math, biology, science, and English language. And our lessons are very much reliable. Kindly reach out in order to experience a positive academic growth. This has been your tutor, Mr. Sensor from Sensor Academy School of Tuitions. For now, till in the next video, it's a very good bye.